All right, good morning, YouTube. I've had a few questions uh, regarding the ChargePoint Home app, and this is gonna be a quick impromptu app. I know I promised for almost, I don't know, six, seven months now that I would create a video showing um, if you had the ChargePoint Home system, which, I'm gonna walk over here, which is this guy right here. If you have ChargePoint Home, either the 16 amp or the 32 amp system, that you know, how do you control it, how do you charge it, um, since there are physically no buttons on the system, um, how do you activate it, and what does the app look like? Uh, so, we're going to quickly go through that, and I've got this on my iPad right here. So, uh, the ChargePoint app is the same app you're going to use when you're charging publicly and uh, privately through your ChargePoint home system, or... Uh, out of public charger, whether it's fast charger or a, um, a simple level two charger. So we're going to open the app up. So the first thing the app does is it zooms into wherever you're at. Um, currently, uh, I'm here in, in California, and um, the app looks the same on the iPad as it does the um, iPhone or Android um, operating systems. So what can you see from here? You can see all your chargers are around. Um, you can actually zoom in. And when we zoom in here, you can actually see exactly where the charger is, where I'm at, um, your home button. When you click on this, it shows down the bottom here, charge point home, ready to charge. And when you click on the actual charger, you can see it's ready to charge it's not plugged in um, you can set up your schedule you can set reminders if you like to have yourself remind you to plug in or whatnot and your settings under your settings tab here it tells you all your information your utility plan if you want the um, to set specific uh, rate plan I just use PG&E because that's what we have here the source is a plug versus hardwired so I have a, I have a plugged in version of the 16 amp um, configure Wi-Fi I have a nest so it shows it's connected here um, one of the good things is if you want to set it up this way using the nest if your fire alarms go off or whatnot it can turn off your air to your house plus turn off your um, vehicle as well and here's your your reboot screen so that's what settings you have. Um, you can always click this if you want it to, to charge. If it was plugged in, you can say charge now. Mine will automatically set up to charge immediately when it's plugged in. So that's what we have there. Um, you can also click your settings up here at the top. And you can see your account activity. All this is the same as you would on your normal charge point app. The only difference is you have this one right here that says home charger. And again, that goes right back to the same screen we were just at. If we zoom in and I click my charger right here. Sorry, I'm trying to do this through the screen. Let's see. But it's the same thing as clicking down here and going back up there. So you can get to it from two different ways. You can click here and go to your home charger, or you can actually click on your physical home charger on the map. Um, if you don't keep your address in here, um, I really don't care you guys see my address here because this isn't my house. So uh, if you don't keep your address in there, you won't see this on the map. You'll see your location because that's the location to this iPad, but you won't actually physically see a location there. Um, so what other things can I show you here? Um, oh, so charging activity. So if you look at our charging activity, you can actually physically see, um, this is from my home charger. The cost based on how long it charges. And you can see right here, home charger, home charger. I only charge, I'm sorry that there's people over there fixing something. Um, you can only see uh, that I charge at home here. So home charger, home charger, you can see. Um, 
this estimated cost is coming from what the PG&E home-based uh, gas electric price plan. If you want to change that, you can click on it and you can manually change that. Um, however, this is a fluctuating plan, so I don't even worry about what this cost says because it fluctuates anywhere from 22 cents to 27 cents per kilowatt hour. So this is just a, a rough estimate of whatever pg and &E says. Um, so frankly, I really don't care what any of this says. Right now, I'm charging the car with a level one right here. Um, reason being uh, is the charge cord on this one is super short. Um, I believe it's only a 12 foot cord and my garage will not close with, uh, with the, the vehicle plugged in. Um, I could put the EVSC on the outside of the house, um, but I'm not going to do that because this isn't my house again. Um, this is just a rental property. So I just, I installed it right there just for the time being and it's plugged in and there's actually an extension cord that runs all the way over to the other side where I have my level two, um, 20 amp plug. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update. Um, I promise I would do this. The app is very, very easy, fluid um, to use. I think it uses a Google Earth base map on there. Um, you, uh, your, your charger will not show up publicly. Um, if you want to show your charger publicly, you could use, I don't have the app on here, it's on my phone. You could use PlugShare um, and show show your, your EVSE uh, publicly, but right now it's just it's just hidden. Um, even though it shows it on the charge point app right here, I know that would be another question. Well, if I upload my address in here, is it gonna show it publicly or not? No, it's just gonna show it on your, your app. Um, it's, it's not gonna be publicly uh, visible. Uh, there's, there's a few people that uh, would be concerned if, if the app would show adding it to charge point will it show my EVSC for everyone else in the world no uh, only plug share would do that this is again just private um, all these other EVSCs here they're they're, they're public EVSCs so this is at Coles so if the car was plugged in you would see something similar to this um, you're not going to see the miles per hour and uh, um, or miles per, yeah, estimated miles an hour with the charge rate because that, that isn't, that isn't, uh, that isn't available. What is available is knowing what your home, home unit can, can provide. So this is a 16 amp unit. Again, for anyone that hasn't seen this one before. So this is a 16 amp unit. Um, it's 3,300 watts at 220 volts, uh, which is approximately 3.3 .3 kilowatts. And I think that estimate was like eight to 10 miles per hour, depending on your charge rate. Uh, the reason I got this one is my old, um, my house that I own in Virginia actually didn't have enough room for more than a 20 amp 220 breaker without doing a sub panel. So I got this one um, for my Nissan Leaf at the time and it works great. Uh, it charges the Leaf in about four hours. Um, coming out here to California, I got rid of the Leaf and got a Kia Nero um, plug-in. So it charges this car in about two hours. Um, but it, it's, it's a simple, cheap installation. Um, it's a plug. It only pulls 16 amps. The car is maxed out only pulling 16 amps. Um, so you're not having any issues right there. <coughs> uh, what else can I tell you about it? It's been flawless. Um, had zero issues with its EVSE. Sometimes you may get a uh, this ring up here, if this ring is green, it means it's connected, you're good to go. Um, there's two lights over here on this side, one that says power, um, one, or one that says Wi-Fi, and the other one 
um, is for a fault on the bottom there. <clears throat> you may see this go white, meaning it just disconnected from Wi-Fi. Doesn't mean EVSE won't work. Um, if you have a schedule set up, you will see this pulsing at the top, and then it will only charge when it's, uh, it's scheduled. If it's offline, it would be white, and it would just charge immediately. Um, one of the questions I had on the previous video was, okay, I don't have access to the app. Um, somebody came over to use my EVSC. How do I get it to charge immediately without touching the app? Well, it's pretty simple. You take your EVSC, uh, excuse me, your J1772 plug and your handle right here. When you plug it in the side of the car, you'll hear it click. Uh, unplug it and replug it right back in and what that does is it sends a, a transmission to the EVSC it says oh I'm plugged in unplug it and replug it back in it says okay now you can just immediately start charging some EVSCs have like a push button that says go this one doesn't um, it's real simple uh, you just grab it plug it in unplug it and replug it back in I can't show it to you right now because this car is fully charged and it won't charge again if it's already topped off. Uh, so yeah, uh, leave some more comments below. I'll be I'll be more than happy to keep doing another follow up. Um, if you guys have any questions, or if you want me to um, drive the car later and then try to do that um, handle trick to plug it in, unplug it, replug it back in to show that it will automatically charge. Uh, but that only works if you have a schedule set up. I don't have a schedule set up, so immediately when I plug this in, it will start charging. Um, so that's just a way just to bypass um, that scheduling. Uh, if you guys need anything else, just let me know. Uh, I'd be more than happy to, to do another video. Thanks, guys.